Hey guys, I'm so excited to chat with you guys today about the um, how April worked out and the updates that I've made for May because of course there are some updates um, because April was pretty experimental trying a few new things. So um, as you guys may or may not remember, I had, or actually if you're new to my channel, you'll have no idea. <laughs> I I like to do a functional planner, but I like it to be um, pretty. So I do have some decorations, um, but I also want it to be pretty. So I'm using a, for my main part of my planner, I'm using the, just a vertical happy planner. So, um, but I have Franken planned that with a monthly planner and then I added some Jane's Agenda inserts this month to trust out and also a dollar store um, thing that I had found. So let's first talk about how it worked with the extra Jane's Agenda inserts. So I was feeling like I wanted to have um, just more focused things in here but have a brainstorm um, place in my planner. So, um, because I wanted to see hourly where I could fit things in, um, cause I'm used to kind of being an hourly planner previous to being a decorative planner. So this is how, let me get that centered a little bit better. Okay, so this is, this is how the hourly worked and I, it did work. So I would make a list, I'd put in my appointments and, gym classes and stuff like that. And um, some weeks I did less than others, but I would also put my list in here. So of things that I needed to do, my to-do list along with the hourly. And then that allowed me to um, not only, and it looks like I did use it every week. I did use it every week last month. So um, that allowed me to have more focus um, to-do list in here so I wasn't seeing a whole to-do list because I um I would just put like whether it was my personal family or business to-do lists that's what would go here for the week so I would just and I would add to them you know so I would just add those for the week and then I would pick from these where I could fit them in on my schedule and then in here I would just add them in uh, so and and daily too and I color code because that's how my brain works so like the darker pink is my business blue is my personal and orange is family stuff that I'm doing during the week so I have my appointments here in the boxes and then my to-do lists around those um this was my birthday week and this is just one of my favorite spreads ever <laughs> I just thought it was so pretty with all the color and yeah, I just, yeah, I love this one a lot. How about my favorite things? Nature, travel, cats, books, wine, it has everything, <laughs> sunshine. Um, and so continuing on with my birthday month, I did a self-care theme and I had gotten rid of some of the workout tracking and measurement tracking that kind of stuff because I was going to do that in the self-care section so I really didn't know what to put here and I didn't end up with anything here so eh. um but this one was fun because I had the um these little self-care um checklists along with my regular stuff so I tried to do everything from my little self-care checklist that week and this week again i just love all the spring colors and stickers and so i put the dinners up here <laughs> um and that was yeah that was the last week of april so that's how that part worked that seemed to work well this part seemed to work well now let's get into the fun stuff which was the self-care stuff and the dollar store stuff so I had a couple of boxes back gotten these self-care things from Jane's Agenda that I hadn't used um, and I really wasn't sure how to use because I was come by I was throwing them in I was there was three new things I added to my planner this week which one was that brainstorm section one was um, this 
the self-care as far as the Jane's Agenda one and then a dollar store self-care tracker. So it was kind of a lot. I feel like it was too much for me because then I just kept flipping back and forth through the planner. But let's just look at how it worked. Um, I didn't track the food in here. I just covered that up with washi because I was tracking the food in the dollar store section. Um, and I found myself mainly writing like whether I had a headache or not on these, which I had headaches probably half of April still. So, you know, in March I was having a lot and um, again in April with the migraines. So, yeah, I just didn't really figure out how to use all of it. And mainly I was just checking if I had a headache and how I was sleeping, which I did like the sleep tracker. And don't get me wrong, I did like this. I just, um, in combination with the other, I wasn't sure really how I was going to use that. So, um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the sleep tracker was, I don't know. I'm not sure like exactly what I got out of <laughs> tracking it all. Uh, and again, I was mainly tracking headaches. I was, I did want to compare how much rested sleep I was getting to how I was feeling. So, um, I'm not really sure that there was a correlation there, but well, yeah, we'll keep tracking that. So I didn't think of a monthly goal for April. Like I said, I was sick almost all of the months. Um, I did track my weight, which went up. That was annoying. Um, I started to write down some of my favorite um, healthy foods because I want to track what my favorite healthy, not track them, but I want to have a list so that if I'm like, oh yeah, what should I eat? I could eat that. So meal trackers, I started off okay. Um, that week I just didn't track any meals. This week I tracked more, which was good. So what I decided I liked out of the three new additions were I liked this dollar store thing. I like this, but it's just not what I need right now. Um, and I decided to keep this in there. I just needed to rearrange it though in my planner so that it was easier to flip between things because I was feeling like I was just flipping through all, like all the things. <laughs> so, um, so let's see what I ended up using. And I'm gonna, I will just also say, <laughs> I did have a minute of trying to think, could I combine the hourly with my vertical weekly and I tried like just filling out a practice um, beginning of May like that um, where I made my own little hourly <laughs> with these uh, boxes from Happy Planner but I didn't feel like I would be left with enough place to um, decorate if I had my hours, had my to do's and then tracked how I was feeling here in the middle. So may come back to that idea later but right now it was yeah not I, I decided to just keep them separate so and I will also say I got this beautiful covers and the cover of the month club from Jane's Agenda with this one um and and one other because I didn't do the whole box I just did the cover of the month um but I love my cover from April so much that I wasn't ready to switch so <laughs> also, like I said, I had headaches most of the month, and so I wasn't really in my planner like I wanted to be. So I left these because I love them. So let's get into what I did change. So I decided to, in my self-care section here, just have this, um, again, I need maybe help me think of a monthly goal, guys. I need a monthly goal. I don't know. I don't know what I could track there in the monthly goal. But I decided to use the mood tracker as a headache tracker since that's what I was mainly tracking kind of all over the place last month. So I've got, um, I just wrote in headache on the bottom here. So I'm going to track which days I've had a headache. And I've kind of had a little breakthrough there. So I'm kind of excited. And I changed a couple of other things. So that because I do have um, some PTSD and um, ADHD and I'm probably on the spectrum a little bit as well. So I just had some I wanted to track kind of things that triggered me and so I just crossed off some of the things I wasn't feeling and and put other things there which I forgot to put my measurements but I'll put them here um I decided to actually use this as a fitness tracker this month and just write down what I've done so far 
um, and I'll keep writing what my workouts are or if I'm doing a rest day here. And meals, of course, I'm gonna keep using that. All right, so um, getting into the meat and potatoes. For my month, I did add this pretty Jane's Agenda that came in my Cover the Month Club dashboard i just think it's so pretty and it does go with my word of the year page so it made it to the front of my monthly part so oh i'm going to show you guys first what my inspiration was for my decorating this month is i am traveling well i'm getting married this summer in sweden where my um fiance is from and i'm going to take all my kids on a side trip and we can't decide where to go we're going to go for like an extra week someplace if you guys have any insight, because it'll be me, my four kiddos, and my daughter's best friend. So six of us trying to figure out how to get around Europe. Like, we can't um, rent a van and drive because I'm not doing that. And none of them are either. <laughs> so we need a place with good public transport. So I just started making, like, ideas. And I had gotten some really cute stickers um, from a couple different places. I, and I had this actually I think was on sale on the happy planner but it's going places with wrong wrong and so that's where these cute girls come from and then um some travel basics by Kell of a plan which is where I got these little Spain Italy Germany France and UK um stickers and then across the top I have glitter boxes from Mojo Jojo plans so I'm very excited <laughs> Um, about how this spread turned out. I don't know. I just thought it was so pretty. So this is my beginning. I, this is what I did before I set up the rest of the month um, because I had set up that other practice spread of how would it look if I had hours and didn't like it. So I, um, yeah, I was, I was into figuring out my weekly spread before the monthly or anything. And so um, that's, yeah. So I've got kind of my schedule across the top with workouts and appointments and decided I would just put how much rest and sleep I got here and also track my steps, zone minutes, and calories burned from my Fitbit. However, my Fitbit quit working right at the end of April, so I was waiting for a new one to come all of this week, so I didn't get to put any of that in there. It was kind of sad, and then that just kind of threw me off for all of my other tracking. I didn't, yeah, really get my sleep or water or anything tracked either, but it looks pretty, and I had... um and I did get my to-dos in um, kind of daily. I had made a daily to-do list, which, so I have now in my planner, added a brainstorm section. You guys can see the back of that. So I have my weekly things I need to do in the different areas. And then I'm putting them in on the, to on the days based on what the hourly looks like here. So I'm, I'm loving that part. That part is working really well. I just created a separate brainstorm section so I wasn't just flipping through a whole bunch of pages to find that. Um, and then I still have my pretty decorative weeks here. So that inspired kind of my month because I loved how the kind of soft watercolor, oh, I didn't even mention these ones. <laughs> these were the main thing because that inspired because it was so pretty. These were, I think I got them on AliExpress or Timo, I can't remember, but these kind of watercolor pictures. They are so pretty. Um, and yeah, they just went really nice with the rest of the stickers as well. Um, so I would post links, but I feel like they switch over their stickers or whatever they're carrying so quickly. You just have to kind of search on AliExpress and Timu for whatever you want. So that inspired my beginning of the month. So I did a whole like so I had some other watercolor st looking stickers um, with these beautiful flowers from the Love Posh. And so I thought that, yeah, they just looked super pretty together. I don't do a lot of decorating here, but um, I just wanted something kind of spring, like spring in Montana feels like we go back and forth between winter and summer, like it'll be snowing one day and then 80 degrees the next. So kind of that, like the moody watercolors along with the bright, fun florals because um, we do get some lovely sunny days as well. 
and just kind of continued that theme, my personal to-do list, my work to-do list, which I need to finish, um, and my self-care um, to-dos, which we have to, and my social media. So I do have to finish kind of going through all of those, but I'm loving it. I just love how pretty it is. And um, I've got my next week set up too, which I'll pull that out. This one I did with um, stickers from Rorong's new um, Coffee Queen and mixed in with this Agenda 52 that you can get at Hobby Lobby. And I just loved like the aesthetic for this and I, and just grabbed a couple stickers from the wrong wrong. Um, but it just, it was so peaceful. It just made me feel like, I don't know, it looks like a therapist office or something just cozy with lots of plants and wall hangings. And anyways, you go, if you are a decorative planner, it's therapy, right? So um, yeah, it's kind of a therapy looking theme. <coughs> Jeez, keep coughing. So I am loving those updates with my planner and just having it feel more streamlined now that I have the separate self-care, my week and my brainstorm sections. I am gonna work on a finance section too. Um, because I feel like I need to start budgeting. So uh, look for a video about that to, to come in the near future. But that is that is my setup for the month of May and I'm loving it so far. It's been working great. And I will check back in with you in June. I do have a couple of planners that I got for um, from the new ones that start in July. So I'm really excited to combine these for July. So pretty much everything I'm doing in my planner right now is prepping for that. <laughs> like, okay, how am I going to add those two in? And you know, what am I going to do? So, um, but I'm feeling really good right now about how it looks and how it's working. It definitely, um, is, you know, kind of my little planner piece moment because I just, um, yeah, it's, I feel like it's working really well. And of course, we know that planner piece is something that changes, right? Because, you know, what our needs are changed. So I love that our, that the discount planning systems have so much flexibility because, you know, things do just change. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much. But for right now, this is working out so perfect. So um, let me know some of your guys' favorite planner tips in the comments and definitely if you have ideas on where me and five kiddos could travel easily in Europe on public transportation let me know I don't know we were kind of leaning towards Mallorca or Slovenia and they're just both gorgeous in different ways so yeah definitely share in the comments if you have ideas and we'll talk to you soon